1976 current status. Intake, carb, headers, new dress-up kit, stuff like that. Um, just freshen up the stock 400 small block with a little bit of aftermarket parts. and uh, The rest of the stuff is all on the intake. I finished up putting some thread, thread sealer Teflon tape on these plugs. I'm going to put these plugs in. Then I'm gonna lay the gaskets on there with some RTV. I'll come. I'll show you that process a little bit, and um, then I'll put the intake on. Ready? I'm gonna take my lacquer thinner and a rag and clean up all this on the intake. Clean up the heads. Some lacquer thinner. Put the gaskets down. Lay a decent bead there, some around the water ports and stuff like that. Then I'm gonna set the intake down, torque the intake down, and. Um, I'll, I'll show a little bit. So I got the intake gaskets on and some RTV along the ends. The excess RTV I just wiped off on the top of the gasket so I didn't waste any. No point in wasting any. Well, now I'm going to take it and I'm going to set the intake on and the intake down. Okay, the intake is fresh on. You probably see them holes are all lined up. Everything's lined up. Looking alright. So now I'm going to take it and put some bolts in and Tighten her down tight and then start working on the valve covers. So I got the distributor in. The kick down cable for the um, 15 there. I'm waiting to put this in there so I can adjust this in case, in case it's not right for the carburetor. This is the back of the carburetor. This is goes to here. I'm just waiting so I can get my valve covers on. Um, yeah, it's just going to be in the way of a little bit, but that's not a big deal. And after that, I get it. Put my alternator wires back on. I got my electric valve cover, cover gaskets are on. The valve covers are uh, ready to get on. Now all I gotta do is I got a couple broken studs that I'd like to uh, change out with these. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna change them out. Alright, so I got the valve covers on, the alternator bracket on, valve covers, hold downs, spark plug wire hold downs. I plan on getting new plug wires, but not today. I'll start it up with the regular plug wires on. But otherwise, everything's good. Now I gotta go and get the carburetor off that one. Started a hood of the 78 here with the 454. Um, got everything unhooked from the carburetor. Now all I gotta do is pull out the four carburetor bolts, front, back, and rear. Um, switch this over to the Edelbrock one and get this cheapie off of here and then um, the CVS2 can go on that truck over there. So I got the carburetor off. I got it um, set on here. I got all the gaskets and the spacer plate. Uh, the reasoning for the spacer plate is because... Got everything hooked up. Got the PPC hooked up. The fuel line hooked up. I got my throttle linkage hooked up. The kick down cable and my throttle spring. The vacuum booster line in the back. Um, I'm just hooking up the uh, vacuum advance vacuum line for the distributor right now. Um, I got the vacuum hose hooked up for the heater control over there. The vacuum hooked up for the transmission. Um, distributor's all hooked up in a rough place. I'm going to have to time it once I get it started. Um, I got the temperature sensor hooked up, the battery hooked up. This is my electronic choke cable or wire, but I got to get a kit for it yet. Um, and then next we got to hook up the radiator and the heater hose lines and, and we'll be able to start it. Alrighty, so everything else is hooked up. Everything's all hooked up so far. Are you done with these Got wrenches? the fluid, yes. Got the fluid uh, bubbling for the new radiator. Got the heater hose is all hooked up. Alternator wires all hooked up. Carbs all hooked up. I'm gonna put the spark plug wires on. And then I'm going to uh, start it up. Start up these, uh, this uh, 76. I just did the intake and cardboard too.
ready? Start her up. Timing light ready. This isn't in the way to fan. Best place is to go right here. Down. That's where it was last time we did it, but it's marked. Alrighty. Here we go. What? Got it all Teflon taped up. Put the Teflon tape away. Put that back in and should be all right. Started up uh, real quick actually. But that car should still have gas in it from when it was on the other truck. We'll uh, tighten up this that fitting. Tighten up that fitting and then we'll try her again. Ready? Plugging a vacuum advance. Forgot to do that. We'll plug the vacuum advance and retime it again. It's got to come down. It's got to be retarded a little bit. Um, just just a hair. It's got to come down into the valley of the timing tab. So I'm gonna go start her up and we're gonna turn it down. I don't know which way it's supposed to turn. I think it's supposed to turn this way. But.
I'll take on the uh, carburetor and intake swap plus headers and the dress up kit on this 76 K10 um, all in all it actually went pretty well except for forgetting to put Teflon tape on the fuel line and the tranny leak but it went pretty well timing was almost spot on I'm gonna get some plug wires for it and electric choke kit for it and when I do that I'm gonna also get some lockers for the front get rid of the auto lockers and or the part-time four-wheel drive type deal and that'll be a second video coming for this thing but it actually the swap went pretty good I know you guys got caught like halfway in between but um, more to come and get some get the plug wires and the electric choke on here and this truck will be pretty much set and it'll be good to go to drive there will be a, another video coming on the white K10 I got the headlight bezels and the headlight bezel screws for it the chrome screws so there'll be a second part to that one and then I'll also be doing some more work on the box coming up here shortly I'm going to take a ride and go get the diamond plate for the bottom so that'll be part of a, another video and along with getting this new 800 for this one set up it's just set on there right now I gotta finish setting it all up and stuff like that so I'll be getting a fuel pressure gauge for this one and that one eventually um, so that's all to come and subscribe and stay tuned if you want to see some more stuff